हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मिस लोखंडे वैजयंती महेश बी फार्म लेक्चरर एट मुला रूलर इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी सोनई टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टीम पार्ट फर्स्ट द कंटेंट ऑफ माय स्लाइड्स आर फर्स्ट वन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टीम नेक्स्ट parts of central nervous system next brain and its part and function next meningitis next covering of brain and spinal cord and last one csf that is cerebro spinal fluid in the first we discuss introduction of nervous system the nervous system is the most important system of body it control relatively all the activities of body and it is a highly developed system the correlation of activities by different body parts in bring about the nervous system as a result of correlation the combined activity of body take place the nervous system control everything you do including breathing walking thinking and feeling this system is made up of your brain spinal cord and all the nerves of your body the brain is the control center and the spinal cord is the major highway to and from the brain the nervous system is the major controlling regulatory and communicating system in the body it is the center of all mental activity including thought learning and memory together with the endocrine system the nervous system is responsible for regulating and maintaining hemostasis next one we discuss part of cns in that nervous system has a two main part first one central nervous system that is cns it is made up of brain and spinal cord the skull protect the brain and vertebra protect the spinal cord second part of nervous system is peripheral nervous system it is made up of nerve extended to all parts of body peripheral nerve system there are 31 pair of spinal nerve and 12 pairs of cranial nerve in that 12 pairs of cranial nerve are present in our skull that is above the neck and 31 pairs of spinal nerve are present below the neck all the spinal nerve and cranial nerve collect the all sensory in information from all body parts and transfer to brain through the spinal cord this is the classification of nervous system in that central nervous system first one brain and spinal cord second part peripheral nervous system in that there are two types first one autonomic nerve system and somatic nerve system autonomic nerve system differentiate into two part that is sympathetic division and second one parasympathetic division the sympathetic nerve system prepare the body for the fight and flight response during any potential danger the sympathetic division responsible for releasing acetylcholine and next parasympathetic division inhibit the body from overworking and restore the body to calm and composed state parasympathetic release adrenaline example is slowing our heart rate and next next one somatic nerve system in that somatic nerve system there are two parts 
सेंसरी न्यूरोन एंड मोटर न्यूरोन सेंसरी और एफेरेन नर्व और एसेंडिंग नर्व दिज नर्व ट्रांसमिट इम्पल्सिस फ्रॉम पेरीफेरी ऑफ बॉडी टू द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड देन टू द ब्रेन वेयर इंटरप्रिटेशन और ऑक्कर नेक्स्ट वन मोटर न्यूरोन और एफेरेंट और डिसेंडिंग नर्व इन दैट दीज नर्व कन्वे इम्पल्सिस फ्रॉम द ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड to the other parts of body in that one more type that is mixed nerve in the spinal cord sensory nerve are arranged in a groups of tract and are separated from tracts of motor outside the spinal cord where efferent and efferent nerve are enclosed within same tube of connective tissue called as mixed nerve that is mix of motor and sensory neuron in detail we will discuss in second part of next in this diagram we will see the position of cns and pns cns extended from brain and spinal cord and pns extended from all over the body next one we discuss brain and its part and function the central nervous system is made up of brain and spinal cord the brain constitute about 1/5 of body weight and lies within a cranial cavity brain is the largest and most complex tissue of body the average weight of brain is about 1000 to 13000 g in this slide we will see the parts of brain that is fore brain mid brain and hind brain in detail we will discuss in the next slide in that first one fore brain or prosencephalon that is cerebrum in that first part the two cerebral hemisphere that is telencephalon and second one thalamus and hypothalamus that is diencephalon both are included in fore brain second part of brain that is mid brain or mesencephalon it connect fore brain with hind brain in that there are two parts first one ventral cerebral pendulum and second one corporal chondrogenia third part of brain is hind brain or robesencephalon or cerebellum in that there are three parts first one pons ferruli second medulla oblongata and third one cerebellum the mid brain medulla oblongata and pons ferruli together called as brain stem next one we will discuss covering of our brain and spinal cord the brain and spinal cord are very well protected by a cranial nerve and vertebral column respectively the brain and spinal cord are surrounded by a covering and this covering are called as meninges the meninges are are following first one outer dura mater second one middle arachnoid mater and third one inner pia mater see in this diagram we will see three layers which can protect our brain and spinal cord so we can study first dura mater it is the outermost strong fibrous membrane function first protection of brain and second maintain brain position by forming two important fold 
second arachnoid matter it delicate transparent and fibrous matter lies in between dura and pi matter space between dura and arachnoid matter called as subdural space space between arachnoid and pi matter called as sub arachnoid space contain cerebrospinal fluid in it and last one pi matter it is the innermost covering which closely attached to brain and spinal cord it is made up of fine connective tissue and contain many minute blood vessel it dips down into the fold of brain next one we will discuss meningitis that is inflammation of membrane of the brain or spinal cord or inflammation of meninges characterized by increasing amount and alteration of the composition of csf this infection may be bacterial or viral next one we will discuss ventricles in brain the ventricles of brain are a communicating network of cavities filled with cerebrospinal fluid and located within the brain parenchyma this structure are responsible for the production transport and removal of cerebrospinal fluid which bath the central nervous system there are four ventricles of the brain first one two lateral ventricles present in two hemisphere of brain second one third ventricles lies between thalamus and hypothalamus and third one fourth in between brain stem and cerebellum and it's continuous with the central activities of the spinal cord see in this diagram we will see brain ventricles the brain is bath by cerebrospinal fluid inside the brain there are space we can call as ventricles which are filled with csf as we discussed earlier there are four ventricle two lateral ventricles in the brain hemisphere third ventricle is in the diencephalon and fourth ventricle is between pons medulla and cerebellum next part that is cerebrospinal fluid the brain and spinal cord is protected by a fluid called as cerebrospinal fluid cerebrospinal fluid is a clear fluid that surrounded the brain and spinal cord it cushions the brain and spinal cord from injury also serve as a nutrition delivery and waste removal system for the brain next one composition of csf entire central nervous system consists of 80 to 150 ml of csf it is a clear colorless liquid slightly alkaline with specific gravity of 1.005 CSF contain glucose protein like albumin globulin lactic acid urea cations like sodium calcium magnesium potassium and ions like chloride and also some wbcs are present in that CSF next one function of csf first one it pro provide support and protection to the delicate structure of brain and spinal cord second it act as a shock absorber provide cushioning to the spinal cord and brain third one it maintain uniform pressure around this delicate structure next one it provide chemical protection to the brain and spinal cord 
and last one it provide nutrition and carry away the metabolic wastes next part of this chapter we will discuss in part 2 thank you